turns out that what really happens in the job interview is that bias rules the day. We all like to think we're pretty good at, at interviewing. How many of you have ever conducted an interview? Most people have conducted an interview. And I imagine most of you have been in an interview already, right? When we, we, when we do that interview, we think we're very fair. We think we use the information that we get and we use our judgment. We pick the best candidate, right? We all think that's true. It turns out that it's not true. We're all tremendously influenced by bias. And the best example of that in, in an interview context is the symphonic audition. When a symphony orchestra has an opening for a musician, they will advertise that and musicians will apply. And the way they pick a, a musician is through an audition, right? So they have the musician come out on the stage, and there'll be a panel, and the panel will be made up of the conductor, the director, the music director, somebody from the local uh, college, somebody from the board of trustees, maybe one or two of the senior musicians in the orchestra, and they'll form this panel, and they will uh, uh, try and pick the best musician. They're only, they're, they have only one criteria, right? The criteria is they want to pick the person who plays the instrument the best. That's it, because you want the best uh, musician in the, in the orchestra. So they'll listen to the play. An American woman <clears throat> went to Germany to audition for a famous German uh, orchestra. Uh, she played the French horn, and at the time was probably the best French horn player in the world. She went on stage, and she played brilliantly, beautifully. And she left the stage absolutely confident that, that she'd be getting the job. Well, that was the first round of auditions. She didn't get a call back for the second round. It was very disappointing to her. But she turned out to be a fairly tenacious person, and she started to look into it. It turns out that in European orchestras, that if 50% of the people who audition for a position in the orchestra are women in the first round, in the second round, less than 10% are women, gender bias. She sued them. She had very good evidence. Uh, they fought her for about 18 years. She ultimately won. <coughs> That's how tenacious she was. They put her through hell. They were really nasty people. Uh, but other orchestras in Europe looked at this and said, she's right. She's absolutely right about this. We're as guilty as anybody else. Uh, we need to fix this. How do we fix this problem? Well, they've, they fixed it. Does anybody know how they fixed it? Why? Blind, right. Yeah. Blind yeah. audition. Mm -hmm. A blind audition is very simple. A screen is put down in front of the panel, between the panel and the musician. The musician comes out, uh, plays the instrument. Uh, when the musician comes out, they can't wear shoes or because there'll be a telltale footfall. Uh, they're not allowed to cough or sneeze or you know, clear their throat or do anything else that will give away who they are. If they do, uh, the audition's immediately terminated and they have to reschedule. The idea is to take all of that, uh, all that bias out. In, in that case, if 50% of the people auditioning in the first round are women, guess what percent in the second round are women? 50%. 50 it takes the bias right out of the equation. It turns out that there's this belief in the, in the music industry, in, the, in symphonic orchestras, that men play instruments better than women. Bigger lungs, stronger, whatever it is. It's some nonsense, but it's there. Uh, and it's so insidious. In fact, if, if you think about the, even today, the... Uh, Viennese Orchestra. How many women are in that orchestra? Seems like quite a few. None. None. Really? None. Not one. No. Not a single woman. Uh, they don't believe that women can play the instruments very well, so they don't hire women. Uh, the bias is still there because after the first round of auditions, they go to the second round, and what happens to the blind? It's gone. It's gone. So go down to the Chicago Symphony uh, and enjoy the beautiful music that they play. But while you happen to be sitting there, uh, count the number of musicians that are men and the count the number that are women and guess who has the majority? Men. men. It's, so it's slow in its evolution. We then uh, started to look at, said okay, that leads us to the notion of psychology because bias is a psychological uh, uh, phenomenon. So we started to look into the psychology of what, what's taking place and that led us to a guy named Daniel Kahneman. Uh, 